Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the second to last match for tonight here at Reflex GT. It is none other than Frag Season versus, well, Farico All-Stars. Farico All-Stars who managed to win a their place versus Farico Deviant just now. And, well, basically continuing their spree in towards this middle bracket final. We just had ourselves a lower bracket final, which was concluded with All-Stars winning. And well, basically what that means is they will get themselves two rounds in this final. However, they will be facing off versus Frag Season, who get three rounds. It's first to five, and I'm joined here on the sofa by a new commentator. Who what is your name? What do you do? Introduce yourself to the crowd. My name's uh, Dizzy. Hi, Diz. I uh, played for Malik at this event, mm -hmm. placed uh, top five. Uh, for the next event, I shall be playing for a Nexus. Cool. So yeah. the, the um, Hungarian Czech guys. You what, sorry? The Hungarian Czech guys? Yeah. A Nexus, a very strong play team on the Call of Duty 4 scene as well, considered to be the best team out there. Let's go into the game. Let's go live, live, live. It's time for CTF. Right now, we are looking at the... Wow. We're actually looking at the uh, first side here for Rico uh, in <laughs> Rel. Nice. Rico in the lead so far. So, we're already taking a 2 0 lead here for, for Rico, which is, uh, which is all right for like halfway through the first side. Yeah, they will need to win themselves three maps in total in order to play, place themselves in the grand final versus Apex. Yeah. However, uh, right now, the. Uh, Frag season team will only need themselves two wins in order to place themselves in that very same final versus Apex, a match that they have already played earlier on in this tournament with various results. I'm quickly gonna check myself as, uh, let's see here, winner bracket, it was one of the winner bracket round, if I'm completely mistaken. Yes, it was. Uh, no, it wasn't actually. F Apex, yeah, Frag season, which was a five, a four mapper where Frag Season only yeah, managed to win the first map, CTF Radiation. If we go on towards a Frag Season Grand Final, then we will be in for a little treat. However, if Apex will go versus All-Stars, which they've already also played against, then they will have definitely taken advantage, which is going to be three to two as well. Yeah. Let's but see how this goes. Frag Season haven't met uh, Apex yet, have they? That's a new... Uh, Right, right now, Torres on the flag again, looking to take it home. There's T1, the flag is in the hand of Torres, just outside of radiation, looking about. Nope, nobody on the turn on. He's getting There's the flag, he's gonna take it home. And you know what, at this rate, I would not be surprised if Farico, oh. ooh, rubs the bomb. Tubes with a sublime little it's format. Four dead, he's four dead. All fair dead. Up. Play counter attack. Let's take a look at the, at the roster while we're at it. Frico with Torres, Rush, T1, and Rev, while the Frag Season with Tubes, Monks, Deviants, and Momentum. Yeah. So as you can see, uh, Frag Season are going to get this flag. I don't think Farico are going to push out too much, because they're just going to settle for the relay. Yeah, and that right there is going to put them only at a two-flag deficit. Definitely something to overcome, but they will need to start doing something quickly, because they cannot allow Farico to get on top of this matchup. Ooh. Not gonna chain that one off. 15 seconds would have been enough. Maybe. Oh, oh, knife! Oh, oh. whoa! Oh, awkward! Awkward! Oh! Oh, oh lucky. Two, one. Good job, Two, man. one. Get ready for the next round. Not bad. A one flag deficit in total for frag season on this map so far. I can see frag season coming back from this. Oh, uh, definitely. Yeah. Absolutely. That's that. That goes without saying. Can definitely see this happening. What a choke, though. Yeah. For another reason, by the way, for you guys that are wondering, why is the quality suddenly a little bit lower on the stream? Uh, there's a good reason for that. Twitch decided to have a little bit of a epileptic fit and pretty much screw up all their premium servers. So basically, we have to upload at a two meg stream up to the service in order to make sure that you guys can watch it. Because normally, we upload at a stream rate of around 12 Mbit. That is not a lie. We have the enemy flag. Then Twitch basically transfers everything to a lower level and makes it watchable on, like, say, 240p, 360p, uh, 480p, etc., etc., normally capping out at 720p. 
That's basically the reason. And considering nobody in the world, unless you live on a main Google transition, um, on, a, on a Google exchange in Sweden, you won't be able to actually watch a 12 Mbit stream. So that's the reason why your quality is most likely a little bit lower. If you want to get the full experience, we are still recording at the proper bit rate. So all the VODs will be in the proper quality for your enjoyment. Let's get back into the game. Currently, Farico have the single flag already capped up. They are two flags are ahead in this series so far. I'm actually really curious what Frank Season is doing. So the two there at the moment, you can see uh, BMW sat at the back of the flag, just trying to uh, pick off anyone that pulls the flag. Um, they're trying to set up along spawn. Uh, as you can see, Tubes is pushing the right hand side towards Factory. Uh, and uh, BMW is looking to set up uh, top mid, making a kill on the right hand side. Pushing towards the top drop down. Makes a nice kill there. Gets taken out though by uh, Torres, top mid. Uh, Momentum's looking to pull the flag. He's jumping over the wall. He's going to pick up, maybe pick up the two piece. Oh, nice two piece there by Momentum. Hopefully he can set up and get his flag, finish it off. Looking to pull it silo side. Got some cover from uh, BMW top mid. Looking to finish this flag off, hopefully. Some Momo area. with the flag. Oh, almost fails there. Almost missed jumps on that flag. That would have been very, very awkward if that had happened. But still, it's only a one flag difference with two minutes and 30 seconds on the clock in. Well, uh, the, and really, uh, the frag season team will need to step it up and pick up this flag. Momo most likely be running it. Flash is going up. Anybody around? Yes, there is. There is a Farico player. He is going do down towards the pits of Lazarus and respawn in a couple of seconds. Seven and a half seconds on that respawn timer. We have the enemy Can he do it? I think the Farico team are looking to... Uh, oh, ho, ho, Momo. Nice well done. Kill, uh, oh, it's taken out by Torres, the back of his flag. Tubes is still here, though. We'll pick. Oh, oh great kill by Torres. Looking to play a character attack now. I think uh, Farico is just going to try and finish his flag. Hopefully, Monksy uh, comes up behind him. on the ground. Makes a kill on T1. Momo picks a kill upon Rush. Gets, uh, Monks gets a return, but gets taken down. Momo, in the meantime, sees that flag gleaming at him in the distance as a beautiful piece of rock to a sailor who hasn't seen land in months. Oh, great kill by Momentum. Momo still Ooh, oh, getting picked up. Unlucky. 1-1 one one still. 1 minute and 30 seconds to force a stopwatch overtime here on Radiation Capture the Flag. And Rev and Rush are not letting it down. Monks with 17 to 14. Rest of... Well, we, we have uh, Vivians with 17 to 14 as well. However, the rest are pretty much negative fragging. 24 to 14 for Torres. Wow. Torres is looking good this map, picking up two flag caps as well uh, for an AR player, which is uh, pretty unusual. Mm. But he's, he's making the kills as well. Uh, gets taken down. Torres sat in blue, kind of defending his flag. That's two dead for uh, the frag season team. Tubes is looking to uh, get on the counter attack here. The back of the he needs to get this counter attack. This yeah. counter attack will need to succeed. 40 seconds left. Oh, he sees one jump over the wall. Makes Good the flash. Kill. That's two dead for the three dead for the uh, frag team. It's fire. time for them to go. Momo with the support, and we're on our way. They're actually going through radiation. Not bad. Looking to uh, hopefully finish this off to tie it up. Oh. Ooh, and flag return. Oh, oh Momo will pick it back up. And this is going to go all the way down to a stopwatch. Save the day. Great kill to tie it up. Bradyak's not going to be pleased. It's unlucky for Farico. They look like the stronger team. But Frag Season pulled it off. We're going to go to stopwatch mode. How is this going to conclude? We're about to find out. Those people do not realize. No. Uh, oh, that is the wrong team. Capture the objectives. How is this going to work? It's stopwatch mode. For those people not in the know, this is how it's going to go down. Both teams are going to spawn. First team to cap a flag, and then we're going to stop the time. If the enemy team, and we're going to then restart the map. If the enemy team picks a uh, caps a flag in that time frame that we just set, then they will win. If they don't, then they will lose as soon as we hit that time. 
However, if the team that originally set the time as well caps in that time, they will win as well. It's that simple. It's stopwatch. It is the superior game type over replaying capture the flag as yeah. we used to do. Thank God for Zorda. I think uh, both teams are going to try and uh, get plays back on the flag defender. I think you're completely wrong. I think that uh, I think that uh, frag season is going to go all uh, balls to the wall, all in. I don't know. You could, you could see him uh, holding back. They did it before. They'll do it again. Let's wait and see. There they are. Momo will know how this is going to play out. They, yeah, we right now we have two, four. Luffy Fritz, have they got any players like that? Monks who managed to get himself the four man earlier on in his previous matchup. And the flag has been picked up. This could be the fast, a fast cap we've been looking for. Oh, Tubes going huge! Picking up two. Torres will go for the counter, but will there be enough time? Will there be enough time? Momo, do not make, do not stop right now. You need to get that flag in. Torres being taken down by Tubes. Oh, Momo taking it so safe. He needs to get to that flag. The support is here. It's gonna, is it going to be four minutes? The flag is down. Is it going to be returned? Oh, oh dear. And there it is. It's on Monks. It's going to be four minutes and four seconds. It's nice. Four minutes and four seconds will be the time that going to be setting. Quite a reasonably fast cut flag, to be honest, for this kind of uh, scale of a map. I actually thought that was going to be a return. Yeah, but BMW made a nice two-piece there to uh, pick it up, and they eventually got the flag, so. Four minutes, four seconds is the time. For those people that don't know, as soon as the four minutes and four seconds hits and there is no cap in that time frame, we will stop the match, and Frag Season will take the map, and will only need one more map in the series in order to claim themselves a spot for the grand, in the Grand Final versus Apex. Interesting stuff. Let's go into the game. Let's go take it live. Your predictions. I don't know. I, th I think the, I think uh, Frag Season are going to hold it out. I think they're going to play maybe three people defending. One I don't think so. Up. No, I, it's a com a completely against their nature to play passive. Because I think they've got the lead, and they know like in a minute's time they could easily like hold it out. But we'll have to see. I don't agree. Momo is going to say we're going to go balls to the wall, all in. Let's go. And they're actually going to do it. They can't. They, they cannot afford to play passive. If they play a passive, then they will. See here, they're already going in towards the middle of the map. Mono, see, that's where you happen. If they're not playing passive at all, they're going forward. And I think they're actually going to go for a cap if they can try. They made three dead there. Yep. And now they're just falling back because they know the clock is ticking. Thirty-four seconds remaining on the timer, and we're actually seeing. Momo moving forward. Will Fariko do anything here? Are they going to go for that flag? They actually have Rev in the back of the map. 26 seconds. They have the flag, and it's being run home, and they have got themselves 60 seconds to do it. 60 seconds on the clock. Three men there. They are not down. Where are the frag season? He is down. The flag is on the floor. Four seconds. Six, three, two. One, and it's over! Frag Season will pick up the map here on stopwatch mode. A good stab by Fariko. Very. A good try. They, they got unlucky. I mean, uh, they, they just ran out of time. I think it was Monks in Oh, Momo, he was actually running the flag. T1 doing it. Look at Rev getting three to nil in that time frame. And two nil, two nil. Yeah, that's 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 so, quite good. So frag season take the map on yep. uh, sudden death. And they we're gonna move on towards a demolition map. I'm quickly going to have to look at what it's going to be. It is going to be the winner bracket. No, it's not, it's still the middle bracket grand final, or also better known as the semi-final, which is going to be none other than 
Oh, la, 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 la. Demolition. No, it's not going to be Demolition Alliance launch because we don't know what the maps actually are. It says TBA. 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 All right. Let's try that again. See if the brackets have been updated. It does not say. We're going to go to Demolition on Firing Range. What do you think? So, it's quite a small map. Both that teams. is a mild understatement. <laughs> Both teams are going to be going all out, I expect. Um, be uh, interesting to see which side uh, the frag season side take first. But we'll just have to wait and see. Frag season coming into this match as the favourites. Yeah, taking uh, the win uh, earlier on in the tournament. Destroy the so we'll have to wait and see. So. Oh. Uh, we're about to find out. We find Fariko will be attacking first. So you see T1 just holding jungle, watching the flankers coming across. Uh, see if anyone pushes jungle. Monks is making a nice kill on Torres. Two's taking down uh, Rush. T1's looking to push here in this tin. Gets taken down by Momo. The defense so far from Frag Season has been good. Three men down for Fariko. None, no deaths whatsoever for the team of the VP brothers. Rush will pick up his first double and the first two kills for Fariko. Oh. Not gonna go to get that three piece. Three dead. Oh, two's making a nice kill again there. Gets taken down by Torres. Hopefully Torres pushes back Haran. Gets taken down again by Momentum. It's usually the B side which people attack first. They take B, B side, uh, B bomb side down and then push over to A. Because it's, it's further away, so I suppose people just want to try to go down. Rev's currently topped in. Fariko. Tiro making a nice kill on uh, top wood. T1, on, uh, yeah, he's going to need to get this plant in. He's oh. been very, very strong throughout this tournament. He is currently top fragging, actually, together with Rush, who only managed to get himself a two-piece earlier on just now. And you are wrong, my friend. You walk in the Mordor. It's true. Torres trying to take the high point, so that's three dead at the moment. Yeah, for, they uh, should be getting this plant in. And there's being they're focusing so much on that A. They're gonna go for a Star is actually looking to get a spawn lock here. Is he gonna get it? Oh, it's taken down top wood. Crucial kill by momentum. Would have probably be, have been a better idea to go for a silence AK there. Yeah. But the bomb's implanted on B. And the clock is ticking. Monks will pick up the first. Momo will pick up the second. Fariko not doing too good. They are two down right now on the re on the rebound. As they, I doubt they're going to get this, ref, uh, this defuse, but even if they don't, even if they don't, it's still that A site. And as one would say, one does not simply walk into A site. Remember, Frag Season, when we need to win this map in order to win this series. They only need two. And after that, we're going to move on towards a grand final, if Frag Season does. If not... All-Stars can still win three back-to-back. -back. If they do that, then they win the series and goes to the Grand Final as well. 2,200 euros in total prize money. Could be the first time that an English team wins a Reflex event. Or the first time that a Dutch team... No, actually, Dutch team did win Reflex GT1, if I'm not completely mistaken. It was a two? No, it wasn't. No, it was Reckless that won two. Yeah, French team, Reckless, yeah. I'm sorry? Was that three? Oh, yes, Mythics won four. Right. My apologies. My apologies. I'm, I'm, a certain individual is currently... I wasn't there. I wasn't at Reflex DT2 myself. That was probably the issue. This year, so far, we've had three Reflex GTs. There was no prize money for number two. Ah, that would be the problem. No wonder nobody knew about those events. Chaos TV did not exist back then. It was amazing. And then I came aboard and magic happened. <laughs> it's two minutes for for Rico to plant this bomb. See uh, T1 pushing her back camo side. Looking to hold him in the spawn. Because uh, B's been destroyed now, so looking to push on to A. Rush making a kill on momentum. T1 still holding spawn at camo. Uh, as you can see, they're, they're spawning that hut uh, in front of uh, T1 at the moment. Still holding. They may spawn out, they may spawn back caravan, which it looks like they have. 
Torres make a kill on Monks. Rush taking down a uh, vintage. T1's making an interesting move. He's referring to uh, back caravan. Uh, back toilets gets taken down though. Oh, it's currently four dead for uh, the Farrakal team. Torres making a kill on BMW. So far, the Far Eco team have not been able to pin down the exact parameters needed to win a site. Imp former Imperial Momo. Oh, hello, Tubes. Farico not being able to take the side into control. The Frag season team consistently playing exceptionally strong here. And finally, a plan by T1. Not going to happen. We still have 35 seconds remaining. This is going to be a hold. I think I think Frag season will be able to just hold this out, to be honest. Oh, T1 making a kill. Torres making another kill. Oh, Mugs top wood. 16 seconds remaining, yeah. Monks and Deviants ripping through. 10 seconds, this plan is not gonna happen. Rush trying to go for a last ditch effort. And ladies and gentlemen, we've got ourselves the first round winner, which will be Frag Season. One more round needed for Frag Season to put them firmly in the grand final and placing Farico All-Stars as the third place at Reflex GT5. However, do not count the All-Stars out just yet. We have seen a miracle all nice, even though we don't have a skating rink around here. Hey, and there are those silenced AKs we were talking about. You know, so there are two goldfish sitting in a, sitting in a tank. Yeah. Says one goldfish to the other. How do you drive this thing? Terrible. Let's continue on. <laughs> I think we best do. And bomb planted on B. Very aggressive already. Yeah, nice plant by two. The fast plant. We did not see this from Farico earlier on. Look at just hold this down. They've got all four men by uh, the B bomb site at the moment. I don't think they're trying to take any risks. Just making sure the the plant goes off. Uh, get the extra time under the belt and push on to A. So two just holding now, he's trying to push into back caravan. Just holding the back caravan at the moment. Looking to get a bit of a uh, mid map control. Oh, two's getting taken down by T1. Nice kill by T1. Rush is coming in for the flank. Looking to hold on spot, making a two piece. And there it is. The frag season team ready to go. They need to go towards that A side, get it under control. Tubes in the meantime. Uh, Torres holding fairly firm as well as T1. Three man down. Tubes gets one more. In the meantime, though, three down. Two down for. Frag season, still eyeing up that A side, trying to figure out how to get in there. They need to get the spawn trap in on towards the Farico team, but Farico Torres again, 18 to 18, strongest player on the Farico team at the moment. Yeah, Torres is looking good at the moment, yeah. to be honest. And it's been all over the place, really, for Farico. Um, we saw on launch that Rush was extremely strong. We saw on other maps, T1. Again, exceptionally strong. He's doing fairly okay right now. Lowest kills together with Rev. However, frag season 20 to 15, 15 to 14, 21, uh, 16 to 10. Do not count out the ability. And there could be the plants. Nice. Ooh, they're waiting too long. They're waiting too long, frag season R. Get this. Got the plant, though. Still nice. get the plant. Momo will pick up and Tubes will pick up the second. They've got themselves 40 seconds to hold off this bomb site. And you know what? I think they got the spawn trap going as well. Oh, Mux is making a nice move, getting top tower. Oh, they're getting reamed. Great, cool. They're That's getting cool. absolutely annihilated. Look at this. The last five kills on the board have been nothing but, well, as he says, have been nothing but frag season on Farico, And it's 20 seconds to go. Tubes 
on standby. Just overlooking the site. Is anybody here? No, there isn't, because there is another Farika player ready to be taken away. Great by Frag Season. A nice bomb plant, to be honest. Holding it down really, really well. Seven, six, five, four, three. And ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. Farico All Stars will place themselves third here at Reflex GT5 in Waste the Netherlands. However, the other team that is currently sitting on the stage, called Frag Season, will move on towards the grand final where they will meet Team Apex in the thriller. We'll be back with you very, very shortly with a quick overview of what has been going on here at Reflex GT5 as well as the final, the grand final, here for Call of Duty Black Ops. We'll be right back with you here from the commentary couch and maybe also a pre-match interview. We'll have to sort that one out. See you shortly.